okay. So next up, we have Evan with Kevin. Evan with Kevin, yes. Um, second here. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am Evan Nolan, uh, the uh, second hand burrito on Twitter. Uh, also, the co host of the flagship podcast here on in the Buckneyverse. Uh, and the co-founder uh, and co-owner, uh, president of the United States Athletics Hall of Fame. Um, I'm here to present, as a Patriots fan, I would like to point out that once again, this is the hill I'm going to die on. Kevin Williams belongs in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and the fact he's never been a semifinalist drives me crazy. I don't understand it. So when it comes to defensive tackles, in the history of football, when you go to, and again, it's not a perfect measure of anything. If you go to Pro Football References, Defensive Tack, go Hall of Fame Monitor Leaders, the average Hall of Fame defensive tackle has a score of 105. Kevin Williams is 105.03. He's ahead of the average number for the defensive tackle. The only people ahead of him on the defensive tackle list are Bob Lilly, uh, Randy White, Alan Page, Joe Green, John Randall, Warren Sapp, Merlin Olson all Hall of Famers, and Aaron Donald, who's clearly going to be a first bout Hall of Famer whenever he decides to retire. He has five first-team All-Pros. Again, history of defensive tackles, players with five first-team All-Pros, Bob Lilly, Aaron Donald, Randy White, John Randall, Alan Page, Merlin Olson, Henry Jordan, and Kevin Williams. Everyone's other guys except for Donald is a Hall of Famer. Now, one of the things he gets dinged on compared to a few other people is that his sack numbers compared to others aren't as great. He's, he's got 63 sacks in his career. I will say, though, his impact on the passing game is much greater than that. Now, I know this only became a stat in 1999, but there's passes uh, defense to deflect it. It's PD. It depends on who you talk to is what it means. So it's only existed since 1999. But since 1999, for defensive tackles, Kevin Williams is most passes defensive of anyone in on the defensive line was 73. To give you an idea how dominant that's been over the last 25 years, second place is Cameron Hayward with 47. We're talking a magnitude of nearly 50% behind him. At the same time, he is one of the great Russian defenders, interior linemen of all time. That 2006 Minnesota Vikings defense was the number four rushing defense in the history of the NFL, according to the stats given by Pro Football Reference again. They averaged 900, they allowed for the season, 16 games, 985 yards and a 2.8 yard per carry average. They led the league clearly in rushing the defense. They led it again in 2007 and in 2008. There has not been anyone quite like Kevin Williams, who's just lost, like, he's just been lost in the shuffle. He's a quiet guy, and Pat Williams, the other half of Williams' wall, much more gregarious, more outgoing. I think, feel like the Vikings fans are getting behind Allen, because Jared Allen, because they feel like they can get him in. Williams is the third best defensive lineman in the history of the Vikings, which is saying, like, who are the third best in the team? The other two are Allen Page and John Randall. It's Allen Page, John Randall, Kevin Williams. And the idea that he's waited this long at this point is kind of crazy. Oh, and one last person just to compare him to, one of our most recent defensive linemen who got in. Uh, and I know we have different reasons for, for feeling this, but Bryant Young, who got in uh, a couple of seasons ago, Bryant Young has a score at 64.3 and has one first-team All-Pro to his name. The idea that Bryant Young, Bryant Young has a championship and he has 30 more sacks, but they're not a comparable players. Kevin Williams is significantly greater and he should be the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Thanks. Awesome. Outstanding. Thank you so much.